Hello again and welcome to another edition of Southern Country. Hi, I'm Herb Sutton and welcome to the show. We're here in Doylestown, Pennsylvania at the Moravian Pottery and Tile Works. I'm very happy to say I have Pauline. How you doing? Fine, thank you, Herb. I think we're in for a good show. Charles? Hello. How you doing? And Elizabeth, how you doing? I'm fine, Herb. Thank good. you. Good. Charles, tell us something about the Moravian Pottery and Tile Works. The Moravian Pottery and Tile Works is a facility of the Bucks County Parks Department, and we operate it as a working history museum, producing decorative tiles and mosaics as they were made over 100 years ago. And we're, we're going to take a walk through the tile work and actually see them made? We'll show you the steps in making the tiles. Our ceramists will be happy to show you that. Are any of these tile works uh, tiles being shipped around the world or just for us in Pennsylvania here? Well, we do ship them throughout the United States, but not too much abroad. Originally, they were used in some European cities, but primarily throughout the states. And where are they seen the most other than Pennsylvania? Well, there are some very prominent facilities, such as the National Press Club in Washington, the State Capitol in Harrisburg, the John D. Rockefeller Estate in New York, yeah. and the old hotels that were down at Atlantic City years ago. Wow, pretty impressive, huh, Mike? We're still producing them. I can't wait to get around and take a look at them. Well, we're here with uh, Charles down in the clay pit, sitting on some blocks of clay. Mighty cold, I might add. And I'd like to point out up here something that Mercer put up in his uh, wall up here out of tiles. It says, keep me damp by the light of the lamp. What does that mean, Charles? Well, we're not quite sure, but we do know that down here in the clay pit, it does have to remain moist in order to keep the clay pliable. And the sign probably refers to the fact that the workers had to come down here with lamps since there wasn't electricity back when the building was first built. And all the clay that you see down here is processed by our staff during the warm weather by using the old machinery upstairs, and then it's brought down here by means of a dumb waiter for storage until we need it. Okay, and what happened to all your smart waiters? Well, the smart waiters, they went on to bigger and be better potteries in the sky. <laughs> okay, well tell us um, how, about how many bags are stored down here in the clay pit. I don't really ever number them, but I do know there are hundreds of here by the time we're done processing for the season. And before the winter is up, there's none left. Okay. And who mixes up the clay and brings them down here? All the ceramics that you've been seeing on the shots. They, uh, once a week during the warm weather, we use the old machinery and process the clay. Okay. One last question I have for you. How long does the clay last down here? How long does it sit? It will last indefinitely in the moist air that we do have here. Hi. We're in the pressing room with Leanne. Leanne, can you tell us where this clay comes from? Um, sure, it comes from a lake in the Upper Bucks County, and uh, the only thing we add to it is water. It has this brown color because of lots of organic material that's in the clay that is also in the lake. Um, what happens is the iron in the clay oxidizes and causes the clay to turn red once it's fired. Okay, great. And can you tell us what you're doing right now? Sure. I'm uh, pressing out some tiles here. This is um, the cat design, and what I'm doing is, it's a stamp mold, what I'm doing is pressing the mold down on top of the clay to get the design. And then we cut away the extra clay here. So from start to finish, how long does it take a mold? Oh, it takes about uh, four weeks um, from the time that we're actually pressing the clay out until it's gone through two firings and glazing. Okay, thank you. It was very interesting. Sure. We're here in the hand painting room with Jesse. Jesse is painting some very impressive tiles. Jesse, how long does it take you to paint a tile such as this? Um, normally we'll do uh, about uh, 20 figures in a day. The hollies, um, we could probably make about 40 or 50 of these, finish them up, get them ready for the firing in a day. So how long does it take you to paint one piece of tile? Um, one tile will probably take about 45 minutes to an hour. Wow. Colors on. 45 minutes to an hour. And you mentioned the different colors. How do you know what color to paint the tile pieces? Well, they're based on uh, Mercer's original designs. So we're making replicas of uh, Mercer's pieces. Wow. Well, they're lovely, lovely. I noticed that you have a lot of work cut out for you back here, Jesse. <laughs> do you think you'll get to all that today? Um, probably not today. I could stay here and help you a little bit. I do have a little uh, experience coloring by numbers. That would be great. 
<laughs> Did you have to go to school to um, paint, learn how to paint tiles, or do you have uh, any other art background? Well, everyone that works here um, went to art school, so I got a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree majoring in ceramics, um, and I've been working in the ceramic field ever since. I've been here about three years. Three years, wow. That's a long time. All right. Charlie, where are we? We're in the area of the old kilns. This is where they were fired. All the tiles were fired during Mercer's time. And below us here, we have some of the saggers, which were the containers that the tiles were put in before the firing. Down here, we have tiles that are immersed in sawdust and ground coal, which gives it a nice oxide color on the firing. And over here, we have tiles that are separated with coils of clay, because if the glazed tiles are set in face to face, they'll fuse together, so they have to be held apart. And then these containers are then put into the kiln for firing. Now, this process is the old process yet? This is the old process, and currently we do use electric and gas kilns. And these kilns are how old are these? Well, these were from the original building of 1898, and we fired them when the county first took over the operation up until 1985. They were physically used until 85. Yeah, we were firing up very hot on a hot summer night. Ooh, it had to be hot. It was good. It was fun, though. It was enjoyable. You remember those days real well, huh? Yes, I do. All right. Well, I think we're going to go over to the new kiln room now. Uh, All right. Elizabeth, where are we? Herb, we're in the kiln room with Eric. Oh. Eric, why don't you tell us something about these tile pieces over here on this cart? Um, these tiles over here have just been glazed probably yesterday, and we started loading them today into the kilns to be fired. They'll be fired tomorrow and then allowed to cool for a day. After that, they'll be unloaded and loaded again, um, the kilns will be. So about every three days, we load and fire the kilns. Okay, thank you. How many pieces do you, how long does it take to kiln one, is it worth kiln one? To fire one of them? There you go, that's the word. Okay, it takes um, three days. There's a day of loading and unloading, a day of firing, and a day of cooling. Um, so for that full process, it takes three days. And the kiln is? Um, behind right us. Behind us here. Okay. We just got through loading this one this morning, and it will be fired um, tomorrow morning. What's the temperature that kiln when it's fired? When it's fired, it'll go up to about 1920 degrees. Whew, that's hot. Yes. And it stays around 1920 for how long? Um, well, as soon as it reaches oh. that temperature, that's oh. the maturity for the glaze, and then it'll start to cool, and it takes a full day to cool. And these are pretty much modern kilns we're looking at? Yes, yeah, some modern uh, gas and electric. This okay. one happens to be an electric. Okay. Um, the originals are in pretty bad shape, so we're right. not using them anymore. The old originals were coal-fired. Yes, they were. Okay. Elizabeth, Pauline, let's close the show here.